Welcome to Healthy Living Today. I'm Tom Roberts. And I'm Harriet Lang. Today, following last week's report on the high street, we're reporting from out in the freezing cold once again. Today we sent out our reporter, Zoe, to go and find out more on the streets of Botley about people's personal health and healthy lifestyles. Exercise. Sometimes daunting, but usually, once you get out there, exhilarating. It was estimated in 2007 that by the year 2050, a quarter of all children would be obese. That was a long time ago, and now the government taking action to promote healthy living surely is becoming much more important. But are all these healthy living campaigns really affecting us? I think it's a bad idea because I don't listen to it personally because I, I still go out and buy mm, rubbish food and I'd much rather my taxes go elsewhere and like fight and cry, helping disabled people, old people, poor people and going to aid to different countries. So I think it's a waste of time. I think it's a good investment. We wondered how this was affecting the new generation, so caught up with 15-year-old Chloe from Botley, Hampshire. So, what do you think of the new figures that have been released? Should the government be investing so heavily into promoting healthy living? I really don't think they should be. Like, the government keeps on showing that teens are always really stereotypical, and I know it's a bit cliche, but we're not like that. There's like, me and my mates, we always value going out all the time, and it's really unfair. It seems wherever you go, there are conflicting opinions. But with health, there's a topic that is so consistently talked about, maybe the government is actually right. Um.